Hey guys, here's another step for the movie poster series. Moving on with our poster series, we are going to continue making enhancements to Mr. Kazama. There's only one or two things we have to do, and the next one is changing the color of one of his eyes. Per his request, he has asked me that the color of his eye be changed to red, specifically the eye with the scar, to signify that it is a different kind of eye, and the color red signifies that it has something to do with the pit boy on his wrist. So I'm going to show you a really simple technique for doing this, something that is non-destructive and very easy to do. So we're going to go to our smart object of zero. We're going to zoom in on his eye. We're going to go to one of our layers, duplicate it, Commander Control J. Get rid of the mask. Press OK. Move this to the top of the zero folder. Rename it Red Eye. Now we're going to grab the pen tool and we're just going to make a selection around his eye. Now that we have our path, we right click, select Create Vector Mask. That isolates only the eye. Now we're going to take the Dodge tool and just heighten the brightness of his retinas. Don't touch the pupil though. There we go. Now if you want, you can take the sharpen tool and just do a quick once over to make his eye a little bit stand out a little bit more. This might help with the effect that I'm going for. Now we're gonna go to image, adjustments, color balance, punch up those red, punch up the red, press OK, image adjustments, brightness and contrast, punch up the brightness a little, punch up the contrast, press OK, image adjustments, hue and saturation, drop down the lightness a little, up the saturation, press OK, and that's looking pretty good. It definitely stands out. And the last thing I'm going to do is take the eraser tool, make sure it's nice and small, and just erase the area of his pupil. That way the uh, pupil will really stand out. And zoom out. And there you go. You have a different colored eye. It stands out a lot from the other eye, which is kind of the idea, considering it's supposed to be, I guess, a mechanical eye. But it really makes a difference. And um, be sure to check the same settings for the hue, saturation, and color balance adjustments you made for the other eye if you want to color both eyes. So for the next video, I'm going to do one last thing to zero, and I'm going to add a small lens flare to the pupil of his eye, and I'm going to show you how to do it in a non-destructive way.